Is this maybe how the drug war resolves itself? It just everyone dies? Gosh, I, I mean, it, it does feel like some late stage of narco capitalism, right? Like the like the super drug that comes along that is like the perfect, you know, cartel product. It's horrifying to think that this would that it would end this way. Nobody that we talked to for this series thought that we were near the bottom or that things were going to turn around anytime soon. I think that there is more awareness. There is more of a, a robust effort by the federal government, by parts of the Biden administration, to get the message out about fentanyl's lethal risks. Again, it's important, it seems to me, that in some ways, it's not that fentanyl is the seriousness, because if you if you concentrate on fentanyl, which you should do, obviously, but you'll miss the fact that that line of coke might be fentanyl. That that is it is it that you know. They, these other pills that you think are going to be fine, that Xanax, that Benzo you just bought online on the internet, that might have fentanyl in it. In other words, it is not just a danger for those seeking out fentanyl anymore. What, what changes the equation is this is now in a whole bunch of other drugs. It's contaminated the entire recreational drug supply. Yeah. Yeah. Which is beginning to make all recreational drugs Russian roulette at this Correct. point. Does that apply to weed, he said plaintively? No. <laughs> I think you're all right, Andrew. <laughs> not that you're buying your weed on the street. <laughs> Get it from the dispensary across I'm not the street here. Yes. I, I, but, but nonetheless, I, part of me worries a little bit, like they're going to lace it with something. There have like, been very few cases of, of want to being laced with fentanyl. I know it was a scare for a while, but to the extent- Calm down, everyone. Yeah. You're going to be all right if you smoke your weed, but, but mo most of everything else- yeah. He's possibly hazardous, not just in a bad way, but in a terrifying way. Terrifying more. way, yes. And and parents, I mean, I hate to be the one saying this, but really, really need to talk to their children about this. If anything, you know, we wanted to convey with this series is that, like, this is an urgent conversation that parents need to have. With their and the kids. conversation, it seems to me, has to be, look, we know you might try some drugs. You know, we're against it. We don't think you should, but this is going to happen. But this is different because this is a poison. In the drugs you may be taking. It may not be the drugs you think you're taking. That's in right. other words, we need to have a poison message that That's right. everything is suspect now. That your party drugs, that you, you know, you're, you're going to take on a rave night in the, on the weekend. That, could, that, that little pill of E could have a fatal dose of fentanyl in it. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in the 80s with the D.A.R.E. program and the frying pan with the, with the egg, you know, and the government telling <laughs> you that like this is your brain on drugs. And we all laughed at that. And, and in the era, you know, as, 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 you know, the push for marijuana legalization grew, you know, the, that kind of messaging seemed ridiculous. Well, now it's really true. You know, the, that, that drug will, will, will kill you. One mistake can kill you because of the lethality of fentanyl. And yet the government, you know, essentially is the little boy who cried wolf too many times. The credibility that it has to carry a message like that has been greatly diminished by those campaigns. And, and this is when that, that messaging is, is more needed than ever. And when the draconian methods of controlling drugs were used against drugs that weren't as dangerous as fentanyl and failed, you now have this lack of credibility in terms of what this drug can do to people's minds. 